An African who speaks perfect English, French, and Portuguese but can't speak his native language is not polished. Rather, such a man is rubbished. Feeling superior because of a foreign language is like feeling superior because of a borrowed clothes. And this is coming from lawyer, author, social commentator, Reno Omokri. Is the table shaking? Is it? The table is not shaking. It's not shaking. Yeah, it's not shaking. Okay. Can, we, can we go on? Do you think it's shaking? Uh, I don't know. Is it? If I, I mean... Uh, let me give you one comment before you go. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, I can speak... God, what's this person's language? Okay, Teeve. Mm. I can speak Teeve. I can even rap in Teeve. But I'm laughing at myself as uh, that's not going to give me a United Nations job. Mm. So, I don't know. Mm. I, I understand when people are trying to advocate for um, Native tongue. speaking our mother tongue and also that would help to ensure that it doesn't go extinct like you have people who right. will always carry that on however i do not appreciate it when we you come try down to hard rubbish it. on people that cannot because sometimes it's not entirely their fault if you can speak portuguese and french and what other one did he mention it's about it takes France effort and it means that you some for some they went to school for it right but some they actually lived in a, an it's environment the where they needed it they were hearing it every day they needed to speak it to survive but here there are families um that don't speak Igbo or Yoruba or they just speak English yeah. or they speak Pidgin and they just f follow that because it's kind of the easiest way for them to communicate yeah. instead of trying to it's tell you like inter you um, cultural or marriage and all that so you you will not necessarily blame them and now say it is rubbish the good thing is they can speak three languages it mm. is something so I've met people who can also speak Yoruba Igbo Aosa mm -hmm. and there are people that are actually gifted in this language and they call them polyglots right mm -hmm. and they can they can speak a lot they mm. w they just need to be in an environment for say two weeks and mm. they speak more than people who have been there for a long yeah. time it's also a talent so i don't appreciate him coming out to say that is rubbish or that would now take away everything um you are as a human being so what if all you can speak is your mother tongue and english does that now make you superior to, to those who can who speak learned, all yeah. that and then okay, so and this is, sorry go on. this is my thoughts I, I mean i it, it's his statement is is competing between reality and ideology mm -hmm. i think yeah. i, I I, I, as an ideology, I would rather that we are more Afrocentric as a people and we should be learning our languages and we should pride ourselves more in doing that. And in an ideal world, um, based on ideologies as well, it should be that if I learn more language, I should have the same opportunities like I would have if I was learning a foreign language. That's ideology aside and, you know. But reality mm -hmm. is that if you speak foreign languages, you get not even just foreign languages, languages that are more um, accessible, accessible to a lot of people. And we have to look at our history and context where language has traveled. So even Portuguese is not necessarily just a foreign man's language because it's mm. Africans who speak that. Mm. Same thing with French and same thing with uh, there's another language. Or oh, well, even Swahili, for example. Do you say Swahili is African because it's started from Africa, but it's transferred to other places South and things Africa like that. Kenya. Then you also have um, um, languages that have e evolved over time and become something else, like Yorubas. Uh, um, Yoruba has kind of like um, um, been modified in Brazil and Jamaica and like little places like that that they'll tell you that they speak some type of Yoruba. Mm. So it's it um, reality in speaking or in, rea in in a realistic context. His statement in itself is rubbish because <laughs> today you have languages that are diverse and everything. So I feel like it's up to you if you can. I if you are good with languages, I would I would want you to question why you don't speak an African language or why you don't learn that because, like you mentioned, which is a big, big, um, um, like such a big important factor for people to understand is that you have to be able to pass that down so that we're not even um, uh, encouraging um, colonization without even knowing it because you have to be able to um, specifically transfer your language. And I think that's happened with me. I've been colonized to a point where I can't even like I don't think I'll be able to pass any language to my family, so I have to be really... <laughs> you pass English. I have to be really, exactly, I have to be really intentional. And that's how you strengthen the English econ um, um, colony. Mm. And that's why we need to do the same thing for Yorubas and all that stuff. So I understand where he's coming from. But that, that you can't learn that. It's already like, first of all, look at your history. Like, look at look at the maps. Look at where people who speak Portuguese and everything. So it's mm. very hard to start to claim that as well. But I know that if you're putting it in Nigerian context, there is a lot of us, especially in my generation. There's also the job opportunity contest as well. It, exactly. I was going but to I was going to say, say even in my generation, there's a lot of people who don't speak the language anymore. It's too common. 
where and they're not even they're not like everyone lived lived abroad. Even born and raised Nigerians who just don't know how to speak their language. It's it's very it's not almost rare when I see my age mates like speaking their language fluently. It's like oh how did you do that? Or, or like whatever. oh that's so hard. It speaks you very sis. You're very so cool. If you're <laughs> right, terrible. Don't even start. No, no. Eh, in your mind, you're right, terrible. In your mind, you're right. <laughs> and yeah, and also exactly. like, oh. Yoruba, so that's not necessarily. So now I'm going to um, bring the should I call it mental health now or mindset thing into it. So when my mom was alive, um, we conversed in Igbo, right? And it became the family thing. So if I'm in that environment, I'm very comfortable speaking Igbo, Igbo and nobody's telling me, oh, you didn't pronounce this right. This mm. is how it was supposed to be. Because there was this thing of when we travel home and you speak and they tell you, oh, what you're speaking is Lagos Igbo mm. or you're not speaking the right thing. So when she passed on, God rest her soul, I, I have not gotten comfortable with speaking Igbo to with anybody because one, I don't want to be judged, two, it was, I felt it was just our thing. So because of that, I don't have that fluency mm. anymore and mm. you would hardly catch me speaking Igbo except I'm just doing the whole remark and all that. But mm. do I understand when people speak? Yes, I do. So there are people who have that emotional attachment to it as language. well and if they don't tell you how it is for them, you will understand it. So if you speak Igbo to me, I would understand but I have to get to a certain level of comfort with you to be able to speak Igbo mm. and trust that you're not going to judge my pronunciation. So it's, I, I think it's different for so many people and coming out to just say it is rubbish because you can't speak your mother tongue yeah. is just ridiculous. And I think if we're a place like Nigeria, I think language is also another means of assimilation where if you live in Lagos, like it's just, it makes more sense to be able to learn Yoruba, even just to survive to a large extent. Um, you get into bigger circles or network easier if you speak Yoruba. And I, th I think I've talked about this before with the music when some guy was saying that yeah. singing Yoruba mm -hmm. music makes more money and people were disagreeing but I noticed that from the first minute I got here that Yoruba just seems to be the more um, um, higher currency in terms of like yeah. um, languages and stuff like that so for some people who learn all these foreign languages it also has to assimilate to those places I, I think for me my accent is one of uh, is a detriment of that like I've been in a, a lot of places where I had to adjust my pronunciations and then I had to assimilate as well into having that accent so does the accent that mean that I'm also so there's levels to you can rip apart oh, while watching comment. you speak I'm just remembering think... your proverb from yesterday but we need to go on a break okay. <laughs> I didn't even get to say a word yes, on this story you wow. to start it, like, you <laughs> no.